the motto I follow for Enchanted and all my ventures is do what you love and love what you do. Because when you love what you're doing and you're passionate about something, it shows in your work. There's bound to be success when so much love is involved. Assalamu alaikum. Hello, my name is Sasan Khan Moin. I am the CEO and founder of Enchanted Events and Prints and also a restauranter from Oplay. And this is my story. You know, when I was uh, growing up, I was that child in school who was always sitting in a corner, didn't get along with people, and um, always had trouble communicating with people. And my worst nightmares used to be when I, was, I would be in a game and there would be so many others and I couldn't catch them. And it wasn't the worst nightmare. I was living my worst nightmare because I was a very timid type of a person. I was very small. I used to hate getting along with anyone. I used, I used to go to hate going to school because obviously I couldn't run, I couldn't keep up people with my own age. But it wasn't the same at home. At home it was really happy and I had these amazing younger cousins who, with whom I could actually win. I'm painting a very sad story. My childhood wasn't as sad. So, and then you know, as, we, as I grew up, I grew up more confident. At the age of 28, I suffered a calamity or a challenge that completely shaped my life. I would say shaped my life rather than changed my life because it made me realize that life is really precious. I suffered a stroke and I did, I found out that I have a congenital heart disease and I'm also partially blind on my um, right eye. But um, instead of finding that to be a difficulty, I focused that and channeled my entire force and again made it like a strife to be a normal person. I wasn't a very bright student all my life, but uh, in North South University and with architecture, I literally found myself. And uh, it helped me grow as a, as a person. It helped me grow as a designer. So I started event management out of this one storeroom. It was a storeroom and it was actually, I used to live in a shared apartment with my grandfather-in-law and he was kind enough to let me his uh, eight by eight storeroom. So I started with my own children's birthday parties and little parties and then my friends would come there. My journey with Enchanted began and um, the obstacles would be a lot of people said then you know you've studied this why are you not finishing your degree and why are you not uh, doing this so everything was like people always wanted to wanted me to follow the norm and I was doing um, event planning and a lot of people said hey why are you doing this but then again you know it was amazing because I could um, work at my own terms I could work at my own hours and it just worked out perfectly because with my two, two children they were my priority at that time I wouldn't say um, obstacle it would be challenges because I didn't believe in any inventory I didn't believe in any stock so what we did was I just took one event at a time and for every event I would design it as such that I wouldn't repeat anything. With my background of having such physical difficulties and everything, my approach to life was live at, as it is it's your last and that was my approach for events as well. I didn't want to wait for something great to come and I didn't want to hoard my events, you know, like how people hoard their events because I respected people for their time, I respected people for their wish and I respected people for whatever they wanted to do. It wasn't like I was trying to impose something. And also I was a little scared that, you know, the fact that I'm, I'm going away from architecture. What if I forgot how to do those 3D drawings or, or the map drawings or everything? So what I used to do is I used to make my own 3Ds and I used to make these other, um, the layouts and everything. And that soon became a trend because the clients were like, you know, that, that other vendor, she did that 3D mapping, why aren't she doing it? So I started to see a lot of trend change in the market. Like a lot of people were now hiring architects to make 3Ds. And I was like, oh my God, that's an added pressure. Now I have to do it for every single client. I love the fact that I have been able to do and prove that you can work on your terms and if your work is good people will come to you regardless of the fact that you don't follow the norm in the market. It's been eight years alhamdulillah and now there are so many repeat car clients that some, sometimes we start with, with an engagement and recently I got a call from one of my clients and I get many calls and such calls that we do akikas and birthdays and it means a lot that we've been uh, able to um, get involved in such a way and be part of their journey. 
in my opinion i didn't plan out i didn't really i don't really future do future planning but from being a housewife or an architecture student to my journey to being an entrepreneur striving on organizations i would say the most vital thing over here that you need to learn is when you want to do something when you dream to do something it's not about confidence it's about being humble it's about doing the hard work and it's about be being honest to yourself you have to remember where you started from it's not like you're someone's wife or you're someone's daughter you have to leave that whole identity at the back of your house you know that whole tumki janu ami ke that attitude cannot be there the motto i follow for enchanted in all my ventures is do what you love and love what you do because when you love what you're doing and you're passionate about something it shows in your work because you put in so much love and effort and there's bound to be success when so much love is involved i want to thank decopedia for featuring my story and i want to thank everyone who's been part of my story for being making me come here and being who i am today thank you and have a good day